Lesson 14.6, Composites, Mappings. We'll start with the algebraic form of composites, which just means two functions, or in geometry, mappings. So you've seen some version of this in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. Uh, if I write f of g of x, I'm saying take f of x, which in this case is x squared, and take g of x, which in this case is 2x, and shove it in there. And then keep going to see what you get. And you have to distribute the squared, so you'd get 4x squared. Another way to write this would be f dot g. And it looks like it says fog. And that means f of g. So f of x with the g of x tucked inside. So now the question is, we got 4x squared there. What will we get if we do it the other way? We have g dot f of x. Now, I immediately change this to g of f of x just because it makes more sense to me. You can do whatever you want. But you take the outer function, in this case g, and you pop the f of x inside, which is x squared, we'll end up getting 2x squared. So to answer, does order matter? Yes. When you do composites of mappings, composites of functions, you have to do it in a specific order. If you're giving this f dot g, you do this one first. Uh, if it's a mapping, if it's a function, you do it the way I showed it to you. I'll show an example of that right now. So order matters. I'm going to create two side-by-side -side situations, and we're going to do h half turn dot reflection through j. So let's make a line j, and let's work with a point p. So first we'll reflect it. Cannot overemphasize this. Do this part first. Reflect it. it ends up about here. Call it p prime. I nearly forgot to put my o in there somewhere, so I'll just throw it here. This is o because we have to do a half turn about O. So half turn about O would end up about here. Call that P double prime. So we start at P and we end up at P double prime. And that's half turn about O dot reflection across J. Means do the reflection first. So now let's do reflection about J across J dot half turn about o we want this to look exactly the same or as close as we can make it put our o out here somewhere put our p right about there and again i cannot overemphasize it do this one first i don't even know if i can fit this on the screen so i'll go as close as I can. Half turn about O goes all the way out here. That would be P prime. And then reflection across J goes all the way over here. That'd be P double prime. So we start here, and we end up over here. And as you can see, order matters that's really the only purpose of doing this that and to show you the process do the closest one first the one on the right first but order matters so you can't just say well either way it doesn't really matter it does now i give you some specific ones this one's pretty obvious if each composite is an isometry you'll end up mapping congruent to congruent to congruent so they won't change and i'll show you that and here are three theorems that um, talk about composites. And you don't even need them. You could have just figured them out for yourself. 
but they can save you a little time. So I'll take this flag and let's call this line M, line M, and we reflect it across line L. get something like that. That's a little close. Let's move it back a little bit. Not trying to be perfect for a change. And then we reflect it across line M. What happened was this distance is X, this distance is 2X. That's what this says. It's twice the distance from the first to the second. Big deal. Just a interesting fact for a double reflection. This one's a little tricky to draw. It's not tricky to understand. We had two lines that intersected O. This is one of my favorite to draw is the goldfish. Give him a smile and some eyes. We reflect him across line L first and then line M. Now they're intersecting lines. They're not at 90 degree angles. They're just intersecting. So if I do this properly, and this is a little tricky. Too close. It's something like this. The eyeball is close. The smile is over here. Close. Not quite exactly right. You get the idea. Coming back to this a little bit, we'll call this x degrees. And then we reflect it again. So that was to there. We reflect it again across line M. And flip that over. Something approximately. like this and the smiles are closest now and the eyes further away so we reflect it again across M this is the equivalent of rotation about O there's O of 2x degrees just an interesting thing we use it for a few different theorems here and there but really no big deal my bigger issue is learning how to do composites you do it twice and it's tricky it's hard to match those up, and I'm sure I didn't do a perfect job. One last one. If those lines are perpendicular, and we have a shape up here, I'll give us a boat. And we'll go with L and M again. We reflect through L. So that reflects there. And then we reflect it again through M. That reflects there. It's equivalent to a half turn. So this is the same, we'll call this point O, of a half turn about O. Again, it's just composites, interesting thing. Keep your notes handy when you're doing problems because they'll pop up. Save yourself some time. Otherwise, you can do it the long way like we just did. It takes a little while. I nearly forgot to make my notation. Always pops into my head when I use the boat. This is Titanic before. And this, of course, is Titanic after. Bad joke. Deal with it. That's it. Good luck.